Okay, so you're thinking of making a move to the greater DC area and both Arlington and Alexandria are very high on your list of places to move to. They're probably numbers one and two, but you're having the hardest time deciding between which one is going to be best for you and your family. Well, in this video, I wanna go over each one individually to allow you to make the best decision for yourself. Come on. Let's dive right in and start with Alexandria and what it has to offer. Alexandria boasts a very rich history dating back to the 18th century. The old town area with its cobbled stone streets and well-preserved architecture offers a very unique and charming atmosphere that attracts visitors and residents. It's hard to compare Alexandria's feel to Arlington and what that charm truly does bring to the table. Alexandria's location is along the Potomac River and provides access to really scenic waterfront views and recreational opportunities. Residents here, they enjoy activities like boating, kayaking, and just strolling along the waterfront. You know what, actually, let me throw a map up here real quick so you could just see where Alexandria lies in comparison to Arlington. So as we go over some of the differences here, you can see where they are. Overall, Arlington is just a bit closer to DC it is directly across the Potomac River from downtown DC, while Alexandria, like I just mentioned, has more of that waterfront feel, um, but it is just a bit further south, although both have fantastic public transportation. Now, Alexandria is a cultural hub with a thriving art scene. It's very much an artsy vibe here in Alexandria. The Torpedo Factory Art Center is a perfect example, it has multiple galleries, artist studios, and workshops. The area also hosts numerous art festivals, exhibitions, and cultural events throughout the entire year. Now, Alexandria is no Known for its extremely diverse neighborhoods. They each have their own character and different appeal. Uh, historic Old Town, for example, has a lot of boutique shops and restaurants where Del Rey has a much more uh, trendy and artsy vibe in comparison. I can promise you this, there's absolutely a neighborhood to suit your various lifestyle and your own preferences. When you come to visit, we'll absolutely drive through a few of these different places so you get a good feel and see which spot would be a, a higher suited for you and your family. Now, Alexandria fosters a strong sense of community and different engagement. Residents here, they really actively participate in local events and community programs all these different initiatives that promote sustainability and volunteerism. Now, just like I'm gonna talk about for Arlington, the proximity to DC is, is extremely important here. There are different public transportation, metro systems, bus systems, bike, infrastructure. I'm going to put a link up throughout the video here where I've done both an individual video on Alexandria, an individual video on Arlington, and then two separate 4K driving tours of each. So that way after this in the comparison video, you guys can see what it's like truly to drive through each of these towns to even help further make a decision before you guys reach out. Now the proximity to DC here in Alexandria is extremely close, not as close as Arlington, but you get everything DC has to offer just minutes away while still enjoying the slightly quieter atmosphere of Alexandria. Now let's take a second and dive over to Arlington and talk about what it has to offer. Picking up where we just left off for Alexandria, again, Arlington is located directly across from the Potomac River, makes an ideal choice for those who desire an even shorter commute to the nation's capital. There are a ton of employment opportunities in Arlington. It is home to the Pentagon and numerous federal agencies, major corporate headquarters, really making it a, a true hub for employment. Most folks who I talk to move to the area to work in Arlington. The presence of these institutions provides a wide range of job opportunities, particularly in fields such as government, defense, tech, and consulting. Now, compared to Alexandria, I would say that Arlington certainly has a more vibrant urban lifestyle. Arlington offers a dynamic urban lifestyle with a variety of neighborhoods, shopping centers, and entertainment options. Areas like Clarendon and Boston are known for their extremely lively nightlife, trendy restaurants, bustling retail districts, uh, attracting young professionals and urban enthusiasts. Arlington itself has a much more club type nightlife scene as compared to Alexandria, which is more restaurant oriented. Um, you can have a ton of fun in both. Again, it's, it's more about what suits you uh, or your family in where uh, you may end up. Overall, Arlington uh, probably a bit more walkable, especially North Arlington, uh, where it just feels a bit more urban compared to Alexandria. Old Town's very walkable, uh, but most folks who move to Alexandria end up moving to Delray or some of the you know areas outside of, of the strip down in Old Town. So it's not quite as walkable as Arlington is. But that's why the, the bike infrastructure in both cities is phenomenal. So many people take advantage of this and use their bike to get around. If you choose not to have a car or you don't have a, a garage or parking becomes an issue for you. Now Arlington is known for its excellent school system. APS, Arlington Public Schools, consistently ranks really highly in terms of academic performance. 
overall teacher quality and their extracurricular programs. Families moving to the area truly often consider Arlington for its top tier education options. This doesn't mean that Alexandria has bad schools, um, they have phenomenal schools overall, especially compared to uh, the average of school ratings throughout the country. But as you can see here, both greatschools.org and niche.com have Arlington with a higher school grade uh, when, when we're comparing the two directly. Now, just like I mentioned for Alexandria, Arlington also has an efficient and extensive transportation system, including a well-connected metro system with multiple stations. It takes you in and out of DC extremely easily or throughout uh, Montgomery County and PG County, Maryland, or further into Virginia, Fairfax County, and uh, Loudoun County as well. Now, just like I mentioned for Alexandria, Arlington also boasts a, a really cultural scene. Um, there's also a ton of recreational opportunities as well. Uh, the area features renowned landmarks like Arlington National Cemetery, the U.S. Marine Corps War Memorial, uh, and the Arlington Art Center. Additionally, residents here can enjoy outdoor activities in parks like Theodore Roosevelt Island and the Mount Vernon Trail. Now we're gonna dive into the screen in just a moment just to compare the cost of living and the cost of housing, but one of the main reasons Arlington seems to be a bit more expensive, aside from its school system and the urban style or lifestyle, and just its overall closer proximity to Washington, D.C., are the affluent community and amenities that Arlington offers. It's known for its relatively higher income levels in general and desirable standard of living. The area provides residents with access to high quality amenities, upscale shopping centers, different dining options, and uh, more well-maintained public spaces. Now, as you dive further into both Arlington and Alexandria, deciding what's best for you, know that each city is also split into its own areas and regions. Arlington has North and South, um, Alexandria has Alex Alexandria City, and then which is its own uh, entity, and then Alexandria, which is part of Fairfax County, and different towns and neighborhoods throughout that. I'm more than happy to go deeper into that with you. If you have any questions, just feel free to reach out, which many of you do, and I'm so happy to uh, to talk and further explain to all of you, um, you know, any any questions you have and the differences there. Now, if we dive into my screen real quick, I want to show you the difference of uh, the housing costs overall between Alexandria and. Arlington. As you can see here, let's just type, check out real quick the uh, the new pendings, new active listings are still very, very low. The month of supply is still lower than uh, the five year average for sure, which is under one month of supply, meaning that if no homes become available for one month uh, on the market, no homes will be available to purchase at all. We've been like this for quite some time not much has changed and it's only getting a bit worse. Although we're gonna see a bit of a difference. I'll have a video coming out explaining um, the overall real estate market here in both Arlington and Alexandria and then Northern Virginia or the DMV as a whole. But as you can see here, the average sold price for Alexandria is $706,000. Uh, that goes for single family, townhome and condos. Uh, where if we jump over to Arlington, Again, new pendings down. Active listings are a bit more available in Arlington than Alexandria. And the month supply, there are, again, more homes available uh, to, to browse through if you do want to purchase here at the moment. But the overall average sold price is a bit higher here at 827,000. Again, single family townhome and condos. I'm gonna have a cost of living specifically for each area here as I'm doing these tours and comparison videos of each city throughout uh, the greater DC area. Cost of living should have its own video. Um, each area is going to have uh, you know, differences in terms of what it costs to live here, different job opportunities and income levels in general, the further you go into each county. Well, that's it guys. The comparison here of Arlington versus Alexandria. Short and sweet, I wanted to give you a quick overview. There's a lot more that each town and city and area within each city has to offer, but one of the best things you can do, like I mentioned earlier, is to go and watch the 4K driving tours on my channel. Seeing what a place looks like through and through, uh, and even better if you're able to visit here uh, and drive the area yourself or we can go out together, sometimes that is really what makes all the difference when deciding what place is gonna be right for you and your family. Now, before you go, guys, I don't want you to just watch this video and jump jump off. There's a lot more to learn. And if Arlington and Alexandria are high on your list, I'm sure other areas will be as well. So check out this video to further learn what Northern Virginia, uh, Maryland, and the greater DC area has to offer. I'll see you next week.